Hello, my name is Liesl. Today I'm going to show you how to make custom gift tags right here in Canva, which you can use over and over and over again. We will lay them out on A4 size paper so that you can easily print it at home or at your favorite print shop. So if you're ready, come with me. For this tutorial today, I will only use three elements here in Canva. So let's start. We will go to create a design. And as I am in Europe, I will choose A4. If you're in the US, you can just choose a letter size. So let's go A4. I want a portrait. Now we're going to elements and I'm going to shapes, see all. And I'm looking for a shape that will resemble a gift tag. Now you can search for gift tags in the elements. I will show you quickly. And they do have a gift tag shape, but it is a pro item. So that's why I'm going to use a different one right now. So let's first get the shape right. So we go to elements, shapes, see all the shape down here is the one that i would like to use the reason i'm choosing the shape is also that it would be easy to cut out that's important let's get the size of the shape right i want my tag to be about six centimeters wide by nine centimeters high So I simply drag it to the correct size. Now that the size is correct, I would like the shape to be see-through. So I'm going to click on the color, choose no color. Very important, we need a border. So we're going to click on border style. Choose the line, I'll put in two. And then I want to make the border a very light gray. So let's click on the color box and make it a very light gray option. Now, when I click out of it, you can see our tag shape. The next step is to add all the fun bits we want to show on the tag. So let's just in make the screen a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to go control plus. Okay, so firstly, I need some text. So I want a little bit of body text and uh, my message. I'm going to add my message. I will make the font a little bit smaller so that it fits onto the tag. Bring it down to the bottom. Now let's do a heading. So what I would suggest for this one is to add the longest name that you will possibly use. Okay, that is the longest name. So that it will fit onto the tag and then you can also change the font to something that you would like. I would like to have a font that looks like handwriting. So let's type in handwriting. And then all the fonts that looks handwritten will come up here. So let's try this signature. That one's nice. It's called Amsterdam One. Okay, so let's make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to put this up here, but not too high, because if you use a, a punch to punch a little hole into your tag, you need some space there. Then I want to duplicate this one drag it down and here I want to add the name from whom this is so say for example this is from the Smith family so we will go the Smiths and also make it smaller so let's go to elements Christmas 
black and white. See all. And as you can see, there are quite a few um, elements, all that are pro elements. But here's, for example, a wreath that's for free. Let's keep on scrolling. Here's a cute snowman. Oh, a little snowflake, although that snowflake is white. So let's just change the color so that we can see it. So let's see, what do what are we working with? Oops, there's our snowflake. We've got this wreath. And we've got this, this cute little snowman. I think I will go for the snowflake. Make it a little bit smaller and center it onto the tag. Perfect. So now I'm just going to delete those ones that I'm not going to use. Okay, so the very next step is we are going to select all of these elements now. And this is a very important step. And we're going to click group. So now when we move it, it will always move together. Now it's time to zoom out of the page again. So we're going to go control minus. And another time so we can see the whole page in front of us. I'm going to right click and duplicate. And just drag it there. Right click and duplicate. Because three of them will fit in like this. Now we can select all three. Click again there and duplicate. Just drag it below. Don't worry about the layout. We're going to fix that now. And we can duplicate again. Because nine tags will fit onto this page. And here's a really lovely trick for you. So select all of them now again. Click on the more button. Go to space evenly and tidy up. And Canva will actually lay them out for you. Okay, so these ones on the side are a little bit too close to the side. So let's just select it and bring it a little bit in. Otherwise, the, uh, the printer might cut it off. And we will do the same on this side. Now it's time to change the names on your tags so that you can print it off. So I'm just going to control plus again, get a little bit closer. So the first name I'm going to leave as is. Now we can click on the second one and put in your name. Okay, so now that we've got all the names on the first sheet, that is good. If you've got more tags, what you can do now is you can duplicate this page. So then you've got a second page and then you can just keep on changing your names as you, as you need them. Okay, so say for example, we've now changed all the names. It's time to download these tags, so we can go to share. Before we do that, let's first change the file name. So let's say file, and we say if tags, and save it. Okay, so now let's share, download. I would suggest to download it as a PDF for print. I want both pages, download, and now it will save to my computer. Now you can simply print out your 
gift tags. You can print it on a white paper or if you would like to have something more rustic, you can print it on a, a craft paper. Cut it out and attach. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you learned something new today. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.